Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we have px plus 5 times qx plus 3 is equal to 8x squared plus rx plus 15. So if we just foil this out right here, it'll make it a little bit easier to compare these two. So px plus 5 times qx plus 3, and so we're going to multiply the first both, which can give us pqx squared to the outer plus 3px the inner plus 5qx, and the last of both is going to be 5 times 3 is 15. And this is going to be equal to the other side, so we have pqx squared, just writing this out on the next line, plus 3px plus 5qx plus 15 is equal to 8x squared plus rx plus 15. Now, what can we learn from this? We can learn that 15 is equal to 15. Not really, learning, not really learning anything there. What we, do, what we can do is we can just cross both of these out. Think of that as subtracting it from both sides. So what we're left with is this x squared term is equal to this x squared term. So pqx squared is equal to 8x squared. What's left, these two x terms, is going to be equal to this, this x term. So 3px plus 5qx is equal to rx. So if we divide both sides by x squared, these will just cancel out and get p times q is equal to 8. So, we're looking for two numbers that multiply to 8. Technically, this could involve fractions, but we're going to hope that doesn't come out. We're just going to look for the integer or whole um, factors of 8, and we're going to see which of those p and q could be. So 8, we have 1, 2, 4, and 8. Um, with these pairs multiplying to 8. And we're given that p plus q is equal to 6. Checking here, 1 plus 8 is equal to 9, so that's not it, but 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. So technically, could be some other fraction weird thing, but we're just going to ignore that for now. We're just going to say p is equal to 2, q is equal to 4. Or, since we don't know which one is which, p is equal to 4 and q is equal to 2. So we're not actually asked for p or q, we're actually asked for r, so we have to bring that over here. And we're going to say, what could be a possible value of r? If, we're getting rid of, if we get rid of the x from all these terms, think of it as dividing out x, with 3p plus 5q is equal to r. And we're going to have two options here. We're going to have an r value for when these two terms, when these two values are fitting p and q. And we're going to have another value of r for when they're flipped. So let's say p is 2 and q is 4, what is r going to be? So 3p plus 5q in this situation is going to be 3 times 2, plugging in 2 for p, plus 5 times 4, and that's going to be equal to r. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 5 times 4 is 20, equal to r. 6 plus 20 is equal to 26, and that's going to be one of our values of r. You might notice that 26 is only in c, but we can just check the other one really quickly just to make sure. So in this situation, 3 times 4 plus 5 times 2 since we're plugging in 4 for p and 2 for q, and that's going to be equal to r. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 5 times 2 is 10, equal to r. r is equal to 12 plus 10 is 22. So our two possible values for r in this situation, 26 and 22. So this does line up with our answer, so we don't have to mess with any fractions or anything. And these are our two answers, lines up with c, and that's going to be our final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing. We'll see you in the next video.